Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am Daniel. Today we will build a simple login form validation. Here you see if we don't give any values here and here. Try to submit. See the boxes are red and there is a error message. I will increase the size so that you can see it clearly. Okay. Now if we give some value here some text value means and try to submit see error is gone and box is green now give here some value and submit see error is gone this is the project and let's go and build this one i am in visual studio code editor i have three files index.html style.css and app.js first we will write html go to index.html here exclamation mark and hit enter and change title link style file that is style.css link javascript file inside body tag we'll create a form with class name login form You see here action attribute here if we want to submit our form we need to provide here a URL in this example we are not submitting so remove this attribute even though we remove this attribute still our form is going to submit to the same page that is index.html later in JavaScript we will prevent submitting our form for now just move on here inside form will create a container for our title I'll give class name title after this we'll create a username input field and label and a paragraph for showing error message I'll put all this in a container And inside this we'll have a label with the attribute for and a input field with attribute ID and a placeholder text and a paragraph hit enter now give some text to the label that is name see this label is bound to this input field we gave id name here to the far attribute of label so these two are bound so what happens when we click on this label this input field will be enabled here we'll give a error message Now save this one and let's go and see inside browser. I'm using live server. See, this is our label. When I click on this label, the input field get enabled. See, now go back to editor. We need all these elements for password. So I'm just copying this and paste it here. and now change here password here also password this is not type text now it is a password and finally placeholder name also password Now, after this, we will create a button to submit. Of course, later we will prevent that. But we will use the click event. Button with ID submit. Here, submit. This button type is 
submit now save this one see inside browser see now what we'll do we'll style this markup go to editor here on this tab right click and split right here select style file first I'll use some basic styles now we'll style our body tag will display as flex so that we can center our form horizontally and vertically height 100 viewport height background color hash okay now save this one go to browser now our form is centered inside our body tag now we'll style our form we gave class name login form width 400 pixels color background color white and the padding all sides 20 pixels text transform uppercase now go to the browser see this is our form now we'll style our title margin bottom 20 pixels later you see here in markup we have input group this one we'll style this one margin top and bottom 20 pixels left and right zero that's it for now let's go and check okay now inside this input group group we have label and input and paragraph we'll style those ones this label is a inline element we'll make it as a inline block so that we can give some margins margin bottom 10 pixels now we have input field here we'll make it as a display as block so it will, it will occupy the full width and width also 100% and padding all sides 10 pixels yeah that's it for now and let's go and check yeah now we'll style this uh, error message these are paragraphs right okay paragraphs we want to reduce the size 15 pixels and uh, color of the text red save it go to the browser see at the start we don't want to show this error messages when there is an error in these boxes then only we want to show the error message okay for that we'll hide them visibility hidden okay and now save it and let's go see now finally we will style the submit button we gave an id width 100% padding all sides 10 pixels and font size 20 pixels background color green yellow for now that's it let's go and check see finally I want to remove the borders to do that borders 
none okay save it and go now what we'll do we'll access this username input field and password input field and this button inside our javascript so that we can implement some validations here select javascript file here i want to close this file window control b to close now first we'll access all elements which we required We will add a click event listener for the submit button. And write a callback method. Here we will take event object. Now you see when we click on the submit button, it automatically submits the form to whatever given url if you don't provide any url then it submits to the same page we can prevent this behavior with event object dot prevent default okay this will stop submitting later here first we'll check our username input field contains a value or not for that use if if username dot value dot trim equals to equals to empty that means username is empty so we don't want to allow empty spaces in our username input field we'll write a method error and send username input field and error message okay now we will write that function now what we'll do first we will change the input field border okay save this one and let's go and check now if the username input field is empty that means this if condition is true then it will execute this uh, error message we are sending username input field here so what we are doing inside this function we are changing its border to red color to show that there is an error let's go to the browser here without giving any value submit see the border is red now here we have a paragraph and here as well we want to show the paragraph with error message for that here you know this element or this username is here here this one and uh, its parent is this div okay first we'll access this parent later from its parent to we'll access this paragraph tag okay then we'll write our error message on that paragraph okay now here parent equals to element dot the parent is now here okay from there we can easily access the child element paragraph p we are accessing with the tag name you know we can use this query selector on elements okay now once we got the paragraph then we will write the error message our message okay save this one and let's go and check this one see without giving any value submit ah 
I missed this one. See, we hide this paragraph tag inside our style file. See, here, paragraph, visibility equals to hidden. Now, we want to show the paragraph. So, now, p dot style dot visibility equals to visible okay now save it and let's go and check here without giving any value submit see username cannot be empty can you see this i'll increase the zoom in okay now if we give some value what should happen the error message should go and this box should be not red color see but it's not going because to do that here in the else block we'll write another function if user input field is empty error message error function should work if it is not empty then success and this time we'll send only the input field okay and we'll write that function now basically this all code we needed here as well okay just copy this one control c and paste it here control v okay for now this time we'll give border green color and later we'll find its parent later we'll find the paragraph this line we don't need it and later again we set the visibility this time hidden because there is no error save this file and go to the browser now without value error with some value see no error and the box is green we'll do the same thing for password okay let's go to the editor here first if password field dot value dot trim equals to equals to empty then we will call error message with sending password and write error message okay and if password contains some value then we'll write else else success okay now when we call this error message we get password input field here then we change its color to red later we'll find its parent here it is our password the parent is this this time okay then we'll find from there our paragraph write our error message this one okay and save it and let's go to the browser now without giving any value both are errors giving some value no error give some value no error okay now i showed you one validation only that is empty boxes you can improve this a lot giving maximum length or minimum length like that okay i hope you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel